Rough Fleet is the only loch on Scotland's east coast. All the others are firths. It's designated a national nature reserve because of its rich diversity, be it in the air, on the land, on the water, under the water, or even on four. Even the loch's diversity is diverse in itself. Because it's tidal and relatively shallow, it has many moods which it shows across its year, or even its day. The furthest inland part of the loch is the disgorge of the River Fleet, not far above a sluice at the mound. The mound is the name for the causeway built in 1817 by Thomas Telford to carry traffic across at the Narrows. The sluice allows for water regulation above the mound. The main body of the loch is above Little Ferry. The nature reserve as a whole hosts 20,000 birds over winter, as well as a great number of these critters. Their harbour are common seals, which are often to be seen basking on the sandbanks of the inner loch. Very largely the seabed is what powers the loch. The muddy sand provides lots of invertebrates and there are huge mussel beds available to divers. There are various species of duck in the loch, including mallard, widgeon, shell duck, but no breeding either population. Of course, there's always the ubiquitous oyster catchers, like these below Little Ferry. Little Ferry is the narrows at the bottom of the main loch before it becomes estuarine. It was around here that there was the last skirmish between Jacobite and government forces before the cataclysmic battle at Culloden. It is, without doubt, a place of great beauty, much fascination, endless inspiration and just a joy to spend a few hours around. Thank you.